欢迎孙杰。Right now we're moving to the the section is called the book study guidance guide. 亲爱的商人、金色师傅，还有线上读书会所有的司机家人，大家好，我是正经，上人是我法号绿佩。好，那我们。那旅途机的读书进度，这周来到了二零二一春之卷，九月份。今天想要跟大家分享的主题是素养、慈心、敬天地。新冠肺炎的疫情笼罩全球，已经两年多了，至今依然深深影响着人们的生活。天灾人祸，造成世间苦难偏多。八大人觉经说。世间无常，国土为脆。我们生活的这个地球已经是地球的一部分。人日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日日 For vegetarianism. Uh, because for the sake of feeding humans meat, the forest workers have wasted a lot of nutrients, which has caused the earth, air, and water to be polluted. Because in order to supply humans with meat, livestock breeders, factory farming, and large quantities have caused great pollution to the earth, water, and air. And it is impossible for these animals to be healthy when they grow up in bad environments. The master taught us that we should eat a healthy meal that is sincere and free of burden, without debt to life. This moment, I will not give up. I will not give up. So, I will not give up. Only give up. 假如用心呐，去想，树，就是吃的，要干净，要树。为什么偏要去吃？在很肮脏的环境里养它，用很人不想吃的喂它，让。这样的血淋淋的、被杀的动物，那样残酷的肉块，一块块的往嘴巴里塞呢？为什么要这样呢？那就是叫做颠倒妄想，真颠倒啦，真无明啦。只是呢，贪的嘴巴里呢，这几秒钟不会菩萨，懵懂人生是凡夫啦。我们呢，应该要觉悟啦，要看见道理，睁开眼睛，真正的要见。所以呢，那就是杠。好，所以菩萨们期待啦，全球菩萨都能听到。好，这个商人的开示， yes, 是啊，我们都应该要睁开眼睛，看见道理。然后才不会懵懵懂懂、糊里糊涂，什么东西都往嘴巴里面塞。上人说，要以清净如赤子之心学习，才能够一步步接近觉悟的佛心。以宗教的立场来说，我们让许多动物不被宰杀，无形之中就是放生、护生。如果为了口欲而杀生，我们无形在不知不觉就会造作沉重的业力，杀业。众生共业就会增加灾难，减少杀生。And the common karma of all sentient beings will increase disasters. 以物为重，我们吃进去的东西就是为了我们身体的健康。Food is the most important thing. What we eat will determine the health of our body. From scientific standpoint, eating vegetarian or meat, I think we should start with the ultimate purpose of eating. 
We all hope that the food we put into our mouth should be clean, hygienic, and able to provide our bodies with nutrient and promote good health in the process of digestion and absorption. Dr. Yang Ding Yi, in his book, True Medicine, the similarity and differences in the digestive system and physical physiological function of herbivore, carnivore, and human were studied from the the structure of the teeth, human and herbivore animal are wide, flat, blunt, short, and molar developed. The teeth of carnivore are sharp, short, curved, and razor sharp in order to tear food. Next, we look at the digestive system. Carnivore saliva, stomach acid are strong acids enough to dissolve meat and bones. In herbivore and humans, saliva is weakly alkaline and contain carbohydrate digestive enzymes, making it suitable for ingesting plant-based food. So the human small intestines eight to 12 times longer than the height of the human body, at least seven to eight meters long. So before the food is expelled from the body, some people may have even accumulated 10 meals of food in it. Think about it. At human temperature, meat start to ferment and should be digested quickly. And the waste products are ex excreted quickly but the human intestinal tract is structured to prolong this process. Food that spoil in the intestines cause harmful microbial colony to begin proliferating, producing toxin that increase the burden on the liver and kidney. In Malaysia, there's a young bodhisattva who was born into a city family and is a vegetarian baby in mother's womb. She grew up with great physical strength and a strong desire to learn. Now let's watch a video of her. The video share her experience. She say, why don't you become a vegetarian? You can save a small animal by eating a vegetarian diet for a day. And then, isn't that great? If you think of, if you imagine that you are the little animal, you were born with the fate to be slaughtered to eat, isn't it sad and pathetic? Even if you do not eat it, it has been killed and cooked. But as long as you do not eat, it will kill less. You must have a goal. Without a goal, you have no motivation. If you don't achieve, keep trying, respect life firmly, and call on everyone to inspire good thoughts. If you do not crave for a moment, you can save some small animal that are about to be killed. So I hope you can come and eat vegetarian with me. Let's applaud this little girl's effort to promote vegetarianism. Last year, she made a petition to raise 500 vegetarian meals. When the mind turns, the karma turns. The vitality of plants and tree can give people good health, but the meat diet can make people fall into ignorant darkness. 
to save the earth environment, vegetarianism is very important spiritual remedy. Let's repeat the advice of the master. The only thing that makes peace on earth is love. The only thing that is true is love.